One question many people have asked me in my social media platforms or YouTube comments that why didn't I join any job after my MTech from ISC and why did I decide to pursue PhD uh, as my future career option and what was the motivation that I didn't opt for those high package jobs and I decided to pursue PhD because PhD itself is a hectic and it's a very natural question to ask because doing PhD after MTech is a very uncommon path that most of the people don't follow I mean around 95% student uh, in any batch if, if you take they tend to go for the for the job after their MTech. So typical pattern is like people do a lot of hard works to crack the gate exam and once they have a pretty good gate rank and they will join some IITs or ISC they are also for first couple of semester they will continue the hard work to some extent and once they their placement is done they will have a very good high package job they tend to relax with that pack, with that high package job and phd on the other hand is a long term commitment like you have to commit for around 5 to 6 years for for this phd degree and it's not a regular conventional study system i mean it's not like you will attend the classes then you will appear for the exams and you will have the grades so that is not the case i mean for the first couple of semester you have to do the coursework but rather than that it is kind of a research oriented system where you have to read a lot of research paper you have to come up come up with a new idea you have to do all the necessary experiment then with the result you have to write the paper and then you have to publish the paper in some conferences and journal and getting the paper published in any conference or journal itself is a very tedious, hectic and time consuming job because you will get lot of rejections from lot of conferences and finally you will do a lot of changes from the reviews you are getting from the reviewers and then finally you will, you will get it published to some conferences. So it's a very hectic and tedious job but still why did I decided to come into this direction when I was getting a lot of high package jobs after, after my MTech from ISC then why did I decide that one? So this I am going to discuss in this particular video like what was my point of view, what was my thought process which made me you know convinced that I will I, come to this direction. So that I am going to discuss in this particular video. So please do watch the video till end and before starting the video as I always say if you are new to this particular channel and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. Now without further ado let's get started with today's video. Frankly speaking that when I was joining ISC for my MTech from ISRO, I was not sure that I will be joining PhD or not. But it was somewhere into my mind that if, if I found uh, you know research very interesting and if I, be, if I feel very passionate about doing research, maybe I won't be joining any job after my MTech and be moving towards PhD or research life. Because my personal experience with the job life has never been that much pretty or sweet. I had been part of three organizations before joining ISC. So after completing my BTEC, as you know, I started my career with Accenture where I spent around one year. Then I switched to TCS and where I worked for around uh, 2.5 to 3 years. And finally, before joining ISC, I was part of ISRO and where, where I worked for around one year. And as you, as you can understand, these are diverse set of companies where I worked. Like first two companies which I mentioned, it was a private IT companies. And the last one which I mentioned is a government organization. But working for these three companies for around four to five years, one thing I realized that I never liked working any of these companies from job satisfaction point of view and I don't like this office system that you have to be in an office from 9 to 5 or 10 to 7 and working there for 9 hours so this system as a whole I never liked and being a part of any organization you are not freely to explore whatever you want to do you can't do work independently uh, because you are given a role in, into the organization into part of any project you know supposed to do that work uh, within the deadline so suppose uh, you joined any product based company a software development profile or SD profile then you will be put into a project where your responsibility is to do software development or write code for the software now if you are someone who is interested to explore the machine learning and data science part also and if you want to be part of a software uh, of a machine learning project then you can't do that because you have been hired for for the software development job and your whole responsibility is to carry out the coding part of the software development within the deadline 
because your company wants uh, like that company wants you to do the software development one and there is someone else who is be taking care of the machine learning on data science project so this is the whole structure of your company that is your company's interest and you can't do whatever you want to do inside 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 a inside a company so that's why you know you are not freely to do whatever you want to do i mean there are cases where company encourages you to, to explore the other things after your main job is done but the the load of the main job is so much that after completing that that much you will be you will be exhausted and you can't you don't have any energy to explore the other projects or other things so that is one thing that is always there and that i felt uh, very much when i was working in this company that i have some interest in some other technologies maybe but my company my boss wants me to do some other works so that is one thing i never liked because i personally is a person who loves to explore things which i like and i love to do work freely so that is something you you won't get in any kind of organization you will work and also you have to work aligned towards company's interest i mean suppose you are working in a company who is interested in uh, cyber security so you have to explore explore the things you have to be part of the projects which is related to cyber securities and all and suppose you are interested to do machine learning related things but the scope may be not there in in, in inside your company so you can't can't help much because uh you can't bring new machine learning projects inside your inside company because that that's beyond your company's interest your company is related to cyber security and related stuff so you have to do the projects of that related to that whether you like it or not so that is also one thing is there that um, being a part of company you being a part of any company uh it's more than what company is interested in rather than what you are interested in and finally i don't like the whole uh, you know hierarchy of these companies or whole structure of these companies like uh, hr will recruit you for a particular project and they will put you into that project and then there will be some manager or boss who will be on top of you they will tell you that these things you have to do this thing you shouldn't do uh maybe you know you don't like the project but as your manager is you know asking you to do do you that project you have to do that work or maybe you, you like that project also but you know you you have to do the work the way your manager wants that project to be you know completed so there are a lot of lot of you know constraints are there inside the organization it's not it's not like you are free whatever you want to do uh, there are a lot of people lot of constraints are there and you have to balance all of those things because at the end of the day being a part of organization you need promotion you need increments and all so there are a lot of things are there where you have to you know make everyone happy there and that something i personally feel is not good for um, for your work and if you really want to explore something and if you really want to you know uh, excel in some some direction some domain then this kind of constraint is not good for that so that is also one thing this whole structure of boss subordinates and all that i never liked inside in any organization so yeah this was my overall experience that any so called office job i personally feel that i'll be bounded i won't be free enough to do whatever work i want to do and i am someone who like to sit think freely and do freely uh, whatever i like to do so that i i i will become happy so that's why these things were there in my mind when i was joining iis that if i get the same kind of things in research where i can think freely i can do freely then might be i'll be moving towards uh, towards phd life and when i started working as as a part of my mtech project with my mtech supervisor i felt exactly the same things what i was missing in any any corporate job so as a part of independent research as a, as a, as a, as, a, as a independent a researcher you are not bounded i mean you can you can explore whatever direction you are interested in you will read papers in that direction you will see what are the loopholes are there in that particular direction what are the problems are there which is yet to be solved you will come up with a new idea to solve all those existing problems and then you will do all the experiments then you will write the paper and send it to a conference to get it published so this whole process there is no pressure i mean you will do freely whatever experience you want to do whatever papers you want to read whatever problem you want to solve and nobody will come and tell you that you have to do these things and you don't have to do that thing so that is something i really liked uh, about about the research works obviously there are some some boundness is 
they are in research like you can't explore things which your guide or supervisor is not interested in but you know you will choose a guide based on your interest only so that is also not that much constraint so whatever direction you want to explore choose the guide who is working in that particular direction then choose a problem that is open among all the all the open problems and then solve it so this is a direction that i personally like that you can sit think freely uh, do the work uh, which makes you happy and do the research uh, freely so that you will feel uh, satisfied in, uh, internally and that will makes you happy so that was the main motivation that i decided to continue my research work and i hence i joined phd uh, at iit khadakpur and in future i am looking for joining as a professor in any of the any of the good institutions so that you know i can continue my research work as a independent researcher and at the same time i can teach students which also something i like and obviously you know as a phd scholar i am freely to, i am free to do whatever i want to do obviously my work should be aligned towards my advisor research advisor but as i said that you can choose advisor according to your research interest so that is something that you can do so if you choose someone who is working in the same direction you are interested in then your phd life won't be that much difficult and also part of uh, any 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 organization as assistant professor or professor that is also not completely free obviously as a part of organization being a professor at any iits or isc there are a lot of things you have to do like you have to conduct classes you have to conduct seminars workshop there are a lot of things are there which you have to do you need to do but at the end of the day uh, from the work perspective whatever direction you want to explore that you can do you are freely to explore that direction and that will be your area of interest and suppose you are interested in something today like i am interested in working in machine learning in social networks nowadays but maybe after 5 years i got interested in some some something completely different domain i am freely freely to move into that domain nobody will tell me that you can't move to that direction or not so that is something i really like about this particular job being a independent researcher you know do research and find find the flavor of research and that is something really interesting and obviously at the end of the day you will be you will be paid decent amount of money doing that also so yeah that was kind of the motivation uh, for me uh, to not to join any 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 job after my mtech and continue the research work and that's why i joined iit khadakpur as a phd scholar yeah that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope this video will be helpful for all the students who are also kind of uh like me uh, who also wants to you know work freely work independently throughout their life then i personally feel this video will be a motivation for you so that you don't join any job after your mtech and come to phd yeah phd is a hectic life phd is a a uh, very tough journey but at the end of the day you know whatever whatever reward you will get out of phd that will really satisfying and and if you if you somehow you know do the all the hard work for the five years then rest of the life you can do whatever you like to do so that is the reward you will be gaining from a from a phd life and research is something that is really really very satisfying and you know give you a lot of happiness if, if you really enjoy the whole procedure of doing research So that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope you like this video and if you like the video please hit the like button so that this video get more reach to many many people and share this video with many other people so that they also get to know about it and if you are new to this particular channel i'm again saying uh, please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly so that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then 